In this episode, we are joined by Gary George of Blazin Multimedia. He's gonna give us some great marketing tips for getting your podcast out there, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for today's episode of Interview Connections TV. I am here with my good friend, Gary George of Blazin Multimedia. He's gonna give us some great tips on how to market your podcast. So, Gary, thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you, Jessica, appreciate you having me on. We are here in St. Louis, past couple episodes, filming a lot of videos here in St. Louis, and we were just masterminding and listening to some just, some riveting presentations <laughs> here at the event. Um, and we thought we could bring you even better content. So we stepped out of the session to film some videos here. You know, a lot of people watching this um, episode, I know you're podcasters, you're getting interviewed on podcasts as a way to bring more exposure to your business. So Gary, you're a Facebook marketing expert. You yes. know a lot about Facebook ads. What are some tips for podcasters on how to use Facebook ads to market their show? Well, the first thing I would always say, no matter what business you're in, you need to have a landing page and capture email leads. You mm. gotta build your email list. That is your captive audience first and foremost. So that applies across the board, whether you're doing a podcast, TV show, whatever it is, that should be the focus of uh, your efforts. Hmm. So whatever you have to do to get the people in, you have to offer something free, right? Something good, some great content. Maybe it's an ebook, a report or something. Um, just to get the people familiar, um, get them to actually take the action you want so that they get on your email list and that you can market back over to those things. Actually, landing pages is a good topic because we specialize in it. So I'll say one of the first things. Landing pages should always be based off of one thing, one call to action. Whenever we're building out landing pages, it doesn't have a, a, a bazillion navigation links. It doesn't have uh, my 10 services I offer. It's all about one thing, one service, one product, one something. So make your landing page simplify it and make it about one thing first. That's gonna keep the customer focused. Eliminate distractions. Mm -hmm. Number one distraction is navigation against all conventional wisdom, but as marketers realize, navigation is cool for a website, it's not cool for a landing page because we are enticing the people to click around and diverting them from focusing on the call to action. What we want them to do is fill the form out, make a phone call, do something. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna move you away from that uh, focus. So that's mm. two of the big landing page uh, tips that I'll give. Simplify your message. You know, I see a lot of guys out there that write so much stuff on their landing pages that you inundate the person with so much that they forget to actually fill the form out. So we mm. like to use a lot of bullet points. Boil it down into bullet points, make it benefit driven copy, and you'll get more opt ins and more people who want to learn more about you. One last question. I was listening to a podcast the other day on list building, and they were talking about just having an email form. Do you think it's important to have them put their first name in addition to their email? Absolutely, we've tested it. Um, you will get an increase in opt-ins if you just do an email address. Hmm. However, you will get an increase in conversions when you actually use a person's name. Uh -huh. See, <laughs> so it's not just about the opt-in, right. we want the money. So right. I got you on my list, but I need you to take the action that's gonna make you pull your wallet out. How am I gonna do that in your busy email box? The number one way that the one word we all recognize more than anything in the world is our name. So mm -hmm. use that in your subject lines. You're going to get better open rates, more conversions. And I can say that from experience. You know, I get a lot of, I'm on a lot of lists, as I'm sure you are. And even though I know it's all automated, when I see Jessica, I need to talk to you. I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, Allie Brown, <laughs> you're probably not emailing me personally, but I'm going to open this email. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Really, really good advice. So thank you so much, Gary. How can people learn more about you? Uh, you can always go to my website, blazinmultimedia.com. That is the corporate uh, hub of everything. Any link on there, form, quote request button will get to me in some form or fashion. So blazinmultimedia.com. And if you want to have Gary on your podcast, let me tell you, he'll blow your audience away with Facebook marketing tips, Facebook ads, SEO, pay-per-click, all that stuff. He is dynamite. So if they want to request an interview with you, you're open to that, right? Oh, always. <laughs> I love doing interviews for Jessica. And I will say one thing. I want to give a personal testimonial real quick. I have gotten three paid clients from Jessica booking me on other people's podcasts. So I will say anyone who doesn't know about this, this is a secret stealth marketing method. We don't want to reveal it to too many people. Hopefully my competitors aren't watching. But uh, this is a way for you to really get out in front and really make sales by doing these podcast interviews. This is the new wave 
of radio, television, the whole media aspect of doing things. So I'll tell you guys, if you're not in podcasts, uh, doing the getting yourself booked as a guest, you need to talk to Jessica ASAP. Oh, thank you, Gary. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. And, you know, guys, I did launch, you know, I, I am doing private one-on-one -on -one coaching. So I've been working with a number of people now where we'll go through, if you're not ready for me to be booking you, because I do have a service where I will personally go out there and book you four times a month. Not everyone's ready to do that yet. We can work together one-on-one. -on -one. What I'll do is go out there and find shows that are a good fit for you. I will write the pitch. We'll have a call. We'll go through it also. Go to interviewconnections.com slash guest. Scroll down, you'll see all these different products and services and programs that we have to offer you. And we can get you set up with a lot of interviews, get some paying clients just like Gary has That's gotten right. from these interviews and like I have gotten as well. So um, thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to check out the Roads to Success podcast at rtspodcast.com. Everyone have a wonderful, productive week. Do lots of interviews and we'll see you next Tuesday. Mm -hmm.